Let's talk now to Tamara Jinjik, the founder and CEO of Fashion Roundtable, a think tank dedicated to sustainability and inclusivity. Welcome back to the program, Tamara. Good to see you. Uh, so when we're talking about uh, London Fashion Week, uh, we're talking about one of the biggest events in fashion, aren't we? How much of a boost uh, does it give the industry? I think London Fashion Week is its 40th anniversary, um, always brings talent and focus to what what the UK brings to the global fashion industry. And as, as your report showed, there are many Chinese designers who choose to show in London. And indeed, it's a great cosmopolitan global opportunity, particularly for new gen talent to show and therefore be promoted and, 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 and a great entry point into the industry. So we showed uh, just some of the Chinese uh, designers who are putting on a show here in London. Uh, do you think we're seeing a more diverse London Fashion Week these days? I think London's always, since I've been in it, which isn't quite 40 years, but it's a long time, um, there's always been a brilliant diversity, um, as, well as, as, as well as having a lot of international students enjoying uh, their time in our, in our universities. I'm, I'm in one at the moment, Bath Spa, where I'm the Professor of Fashion and Sustainability. Um, so by becoming a student here and then built, wanting to build a business here, it's a fantastic opportunity to be part of this melting pot. Um, and I'm also thinking of Hushan Zhang, who I've had speaking at events before, who really wanted to promote a luxury made in China story, um, which is a, is a pivot from, you know, in his words, from the normal conversation about Chinese manufacturing and shows the beauty that can be produced there. Something else uh, we've seen evolving over the years uh, is a move uh, away from fast fashion uh, plus more ethical sourcing of garments and materials. How does the fashion industry uh, deal with a movement that effectively is asking people uh, to buy fewer clothes? Yeah, I mean, I think it's the, it's the heart of the conundrum and I think you've got to the heart of the issue. Um, uh, where I think it needs to go is a, is a lot more um, support. In the UK, we had two million um, in support from uh, DCMS, but really for an industry that's worth more than aviation, autom automobiles and pharmaceuticals combined as an industry, more support would allow more DNA um, kind of R&D, sorry, R&D structuring so that you could really build the business and look at fibre sovereignty, for instance, using uh, local local fabrics, looking like Paulo Cazana did in his show at, at Natural Dyes, looking at how we can build business ethically and environmentally. I think there are deeper challenges around do we need two seasons? Um, I think there's a question around that uh, that many are trying to look at. Um, and some brands chose not to show this season because of that. Uh, Preen by Thornton Bragazzi has only just started to show again, again after a few years off because of COVID and wanting to take their time. And they were part of the Thursday um, calendar and, and it was a brilliant show and I'm sure it will do very well. But they're also looking at diversity in terms of doing a homeware brand as well as doing clothes. So I think that creativity also allows you to be someone that thinks um, pivot and pivots quickly and I think that that's what many brands have had to do. So let's get back to uh, London Fashion Week then. Uh, we're celebrating 40 years of this event. Um, possibly a difficult question to pick your favourite moments but what have been the highlights do you think so far? I mean so I, I, I just was thinking about that before I came on. You know the first, I was lucky enough to be at the first Hussein Chilean show where he'd buried the clothes um, early McQueen shows were absolutely amazing um, and yeah I was there when Shalom was sprayed by the robot that was an amazing moment and then Needham Kirchhoff who's part of the new gen show that Sarah Moak curated recently at the Design Museum there they were a brilliant brand I mean there's been lots of moments and then even this week there's been some shows that have been really interesting um, from new gen talents and it's always those moments where you're like yes this is you know I'm part of something really exciting that make part of what London offers I think to the global fashion industry it's that those moments of feeling part of something really pushing boundaries whether it's on ethics sustainability identity I think London has been the first to really pose those questions Tamara, great to talk to you today. Thank you uh, for joining Thank us. You. That's Tamara Jinjik, CEO and founder of Fashion Roundtable.